here with Sebastian Cordero, who directed Europa Report. And it's a really exciting movie because it is sci-fi, but it also, it, it takes the fiction out of science more. It explains it more. It's, it's more scientifically accurate. And I want to know, what made you want to make a movie that was different in this way? The, the, the main thing that really drew me into it was the fact that, you know, the, the, it kept the balance, mm -hmm. you know, that was really interesting between, you know, a really thrilling film, you know, a, a very gripping story about, you know, deep space exploration, but it also was very grounded in science, and I thought that was really cool. And the minute I started, you know, I, I knew about Europa, but the minute I started doing more research about it, I was fascinated about everything about it. It, 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 it really is a, a, an incredible, very, almost like very mythical place, mm -hmm. you know, when you think about this white moon within our solar system that is contains a huge ocean but that ocean is protected you know by this you know layer of ice uh you know you immediately think oh well i, I want to go there there's this instinct you know the, the 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 exploration instinct that i think every human being has suddenly it was like oh this is this this is the perfect story uh to 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 kind of develop that idea mm -hmm. but uh, but but actually grounding it with with science it, it, it felt right, and it felt right with, you know, the producers were, were, were going in that direction as well. And the moment we started doing our work and, and, and uh, doing more research and getting, you know, getting the support from, from, from the scientists at JPL or, you know, visiting SpaceX and talking to marine biologists, it, suddenly everything that we saw was so much cooler than stuff that we could have made up that we were like, okay, let's embrace this. That's <laughs> Absolutely. what's super exciting of, of this yeah. is not only is it incredible, it's also real. Like yes. If there, you know, it, if there is life outside of uh -huh. our, our planet, which is a big question of the movie, yes, it, who, are we alone? That is a great place to start looking. And we are, well, NASA is going to start looking at some point. Are yeah. you hoping that um, one, of the, one of the things this movie accomplishes is gets people more interested in the space program and looking beyond what we can see here absolutely yeah. absolutely i mean it is the, the minute you start getting into this world you can't help but uh, but 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 hope for that you know mm -hmm. you 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 feel that there's so much and and so much that has come about from from the space programs mm -hmm. you know ar around the world uh that uh that that that, that it definitely you know if, if the film does anything to to in a way bring public interest more public interest into that and specifically to, mm -hmm. to Europa it would be it would be amazing <laughs> were there ever points uh, during filming where perhaps um, the creative team had ideas but they maybe conflicted with scientific ideas from from your advisors from JPL absolutely absolutely and that was part of the challenge of making this film but mm -hmm. what was cool is that eventually the things that we came up with were actually better you know, once <laughs> once we involved the the, 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 the science people, yeah. you know, the things that the, the solutions that that, that, that that came about were, were were so much more interesting than what had been on the page before, and that's something that you know, uh, you know, talking to these guys, you know, at, at JPL, the the thing came, you know, this this notion of the universe being more unique and more bizarre and more complex than anything that we can imagine. Um, you know that notion kept coming back over and over again because it's it's incredible, you know all the things that could exist out mm -hmm. there and, and 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 all the all the all the challenges that that exist in in, in real life and th there's definitely I think a way that you can incorporate those challenges um, into a film that is that is thrilling that is entertaining uh, and yet you know you don't you don't necessarily need to to betray those things. Just to give you an, you know, an example, it's a you know, little. It could be a little bit of a spoiler, so I don't. Want, I, I won't go into too much detail. But <laughs> in one of the first drafts that I that I that I read, the big discovery that they make would happen in, on the surface of Europa. And you know, talking to to all the Europa specialists, you know, it's clear that what's in the ocean is what's what's really mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, we're, we're, that's where the, the life that's would where be, life teaming, would be. Right? Yeah, of course, <laughs> already. <laughs> I, I love spoilers, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but the movie is out right now on demand, yes, so it, it is. is possible for people to watch it and not be spoiled already. Exactly. <laughs> so it's not. Don't worry too much. <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs>